Hello YouTube! Again. Yes, you may be seeing. Hey, it's your room again. And Josh, you need to shave. Well, I'm just saying that to myself. You probably aren't saying that. Yes. Now, you're probably wondering, another update? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, this isn't just an update. You'll find this quite interesting. Yeah, my laptop's over there. <laughs> You're probably wondering, are you on your camera? No. I am not. Actually, I'm on another laptop I've got. You probably, you're probably wondering, oh wait, another laptop? I didn't know you had another laptop. Well, of course I had another laptop. I had a Macintosh laptop. Macintosh? What are you, crazy? No, I'm not crazy. I just got, my sister gave me the, this Macintosh, and basically, this Macintosh, is like, um, I updated it a little. So, and fixed the webcam problem. So, now I can do YouTube off this laptop as well. So, basically, um, I'm on my Windows laptop, and I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff. And I thought, hey, why don't I work on my Mac and make it more up-to-date, because it was a bit out-of-date. So, I did that. And I'm also going to show you what I was doing on my video camera. Here's my video camera right here. And here's a cookie right here. Mm. Alright, so you're probably wondering why I have a Mac in the first place. Well, first off, this, this used to be my sister's old Macintosh, but now it's mine because she's got a, another Macintosh. And plus, this Macintosh stopped working on her for some reason, and then, it start, and then it started to turn, and then it turned on exactly when I pressed the power button. It's like it stopped working for Christy and chose me because I didn't do no repair or nothing with this. Mm. Too bad the battery don't work. That's okay. I can handle that. I've got a working laptop that has a working battery that lasts a long time. So anyway. Um, I have a video on here. That's like, that will show you what I've been doing with my Macintosh. So... Um, now, if only I had the drivers to my... Um, let me just show you. It's down here somewhere. Oops. Oops. Wrong spot. Nope. Uh, yeah, here we go. Alright. If only I had the drivers to my pinnacle, uh, uh, 700 USB TV board. Because if I did, um, I could basically show you from, like, from directly from getting it from this. Because I don't feel like editing it right now. I just want to get it out as fast as possible. Let well, maybe I'll try. Let's try. This is an update and a uh, and an experimental project. So, because that's what I want to do. 
Like, um, I got my desktop, but that's off right now. Where is it? I definitely need this. Well, I'll just upload it for now. So, hopefully you take this video interesting. I have a Mac. And also, the other the other reason, it, well, I haven't actually told you the reason. Okay, so I made the Josh player running for on Windows. But that's all it can do is run on Windows. It's like... Well, it's a basic program that all you require is Windows XP or higher and uh, Windows Media Player uh, 9 or higher, basically. But, here's the thing. There are people that have Macintosh and they can't run the Josh Player on their Mac. That's a problem because you, if you can't run the Josh player on a Mac, how are the Mac people supposed to use it? Well, then I thought, well, here's a good idea. How about I make the Josh player in Macintosh form? So, yeah, so I've got Xcode on this Macintosh. And I should be able to actually create the Josh player through Xcode. Which will be actually a good idea. Because then I can make two, I'll have two different versions of the Josh player the Josh player for Windows and the Josh player for Mac. Now, the Josh player for Mac is actually, I'm going to give it a different shape, so it's not going to be the same as the Josh player. And the Josh Player 2.0 is going to be just for Windows. Basically, it's going to be, you know, uh, um, more better, like, than the Josh Player because it's got a lot more features. Like, you have two browsers in one. Like, say this is one browser and this is another browser. Like, you've got Google on here and you got YouTube on here. And like you're watching a video from here and you're looking up stuff on Google right here. And like you've got a URL uh, like over on top of here and a URL on top of this browser right here. So you would be doing both at the same time, both being seen. Um, I don't know if there are actual so other software that actually does that, but I thought that was a good idea. And then I'll be also putting in, you know, like the, uh, the the tabs, like hiding from the one browser, then comes out and go goes into in front of the browser kind of thing. Basically, it's a bunch of browsers um, in in the form uh, to actually be like tabs, so that way you have different websites on there. And so I know how to do that, but I know how to make it more simple. I want to make it more simple, like you've got a combo box, and like, like when you click it, click, then it will open up, and then you can uh, select whichever tab you want. Basically, it will be tab 1, tab 2, tab 3, tab 4, tab 5. It's, it's very simple. Yes. Um, like, um, and all you do is just, uh, do a, uh, you know, and in Visual Basic, you can actually make, I've actually, I'm thinking you can actually do it by just making things visible and invisible and, you know, because the visibility make false and true and all that. So, I'm just thinking maybe to make the Josh player in from Xcode for Macintosh. So, yeah, so. And then maybe also for Linux too. I've got Linux, but it's not on any of my computers anymore. My, I lost my Linux PC a while ago. It, uh, the um, 
my Linux PC stopped working. Um, it was an old computer that was running Linux, and it was doing good until it stopped working. My Linux just stopped working. And then I saw then I tried to install Windows 98, which was what it first came on, at, yeah, which was first running before I installed Linux. So that one is pretty much dead because Windows 98, it doesn't boot from Windows 98 for some reason. There's something wrong with it. I don't know, but it's too old. I mean, like, there's no use for it, basically. So I just took out the RAM. The RAM's the only thing use the only last thing useful. So I was using the computer for parts, so basically. And I did have Linux on my laptop, but I don't think I want to do it again. Like, just well, I'm worried that that fatal error thing will come up again. So hopefully, I hope you enjoyed this long thing again uh, long update sorry about that again keep doing it keep going into other subjects so so long and hopefully and I'll get that Eggman's ghost up and ready just uh, don't worry uh, it's just that I'm working on it I'm just working on it like uh, well not really working I've been just so busy that I don't have much time to actually work on it Real busy with the Josh Player 2.0. Real busy with my Mac. Real, real busy with my schoolwork. Focused on the Votech, and trying to. And I'm also making an FTP program. I'm pretty much busy, like uh, programming and stuff, because I like programming, and and I've actually fixed up the ne fixed the network some sometimes, because sometimes I lost a connection and. It's because of an invalid, um, a stupid invalid, um, uh, IP address. Um, so, I decided, I'll just do the IP address manually. And then I just fixed that. And so, now there's no problems with that invalid error because I put in a valid IP address that will always be there. Like, uh, if you, if anyone knows, like, how to do that, because I've done it. You probably know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, you don't know. You don't know. But that's okay. I'm just going to go now and bye. Uh, okay, now bye.